Hello, we are going to tell you about a powerful tool called Themeler. You can use Themeler to create themes for different websites, blogs, and online stores. With Themeler, you work with actual CMS data, modifying pages, articles, blog posts, and products directly in Joomla, WordPress, and other supported CMS. While designing, you can use the pre-designed sections, giving you results in just a few clicks, or go with full customization of the smallest details. So let's introduce you to the Themeler step-by-step. -step. We'll start with visiting themeler.io website. Themeler is available for desktop and as a plugin for Joomla, WordPress, and some other supported CMS. We will demonstrate Themeler features using an example of the Joomla plugin. Download the Themeler template for Joomla. The template is installed in a usual way for Joomla template as a zipped package from the Joomla admin, extensions, extension manager. Themeler plugin is installed in together with the template, and therefore it is easy for any Joomla user. Make Themeler template default. Open the installed Themeler template. After activation, the Edit Template button is available in the options. We begin with the home template, which is used as the website's front page. If the home template is not available in Themeler, then please check that the current site menu includes the Joomla default menu item. Let's change the default header section to an intro section with the overlapping header. Our library has a large number of well-designed pages and sections of various themes, layout, and structures. We'll add more sections by clicking the small green plus in the left panel, and this will add sections into the content area. And those sections will be shown only on the home page. We will describe the area highlighting later. Themeler's user interface consists of several essentials. At the top, there is the ribbon toolbar. The File tab provides access to the main theme operations, including Save, Export, Import, and others. The Home tab allows editing of the most popular parameters for the selected element. Edit provides the quick access to the main properties of the selected element. Insert and Design tabs will be described later. To the top right, there are supported responsive modes. Also, save publish theme options, refresh content to have CMS changes to be reflected in Themeler. Apply theme to CMS applies changes made in Themeler to your CMS. In the left panel, you see the following tabs. In articles, you can access and move website articles. Store is used in e-commerce templates. Store pages are available if VirtuMart plugin is installed and activated. Also, we see outline containing the hierarchy of selection elements and sections with the list of sections. The left panel may be hidden if unnecessary by clicking the stripe with the arrow and reopened again. Now it is time to get more in details on color highlighting in the editor. There are several areas for adding content highlighted with the color border. Orange shows areas that are shared among all templates. Blue is for areas of the active template and green is stored as the content of the current page. The property window is opened automatically if you click the arrow in the right lower corner of the group in the ribbon. You can fix the panel. The property window contains practically all properties that can be changed, allows the maximum customization of the selected element. Also, you can open and hide the right panel by clicking the stripe with the arrow to the right of the screen. At the bottom of the screen, there is a bar with the layout view, margins, and path. The layout view, if enabled, shows the structure of the page. Margins show the controls margins on mouse hovering and are enabled by default, but may be disabled. The path shows the nesting of elements and containers. Clicking the path's links, we navigate the elements and containers fastly and easily. Now, let's proceed to the page contents. Change the image. In the open dialog, there are a number of images from the Billion Photos library available with the subscription. 
let's also change the heading. Click the heading field and start typing the new text. Move subheading below the heading. It is made very simple, as the position into which the element may be placed is highlighted with the color of the area, in this case, blue. Now we will change the position of the container with text in the section. To center the container, select the positioning in the ribbon. Let's create the section from scratch. Add a blank section. Add a container. Add a row with columns. Add a text into the left column. And make it the heading 2. Add another text and also modify it. Insert an icon. Change the default icon. Find and select one from the Billion Photos library. Move the icon above the heading. Modify the heading. Copy the contents of the left column into the right. Start with the icon. Copy and paste the icon into the second column. The placeholder for pasting in the right cell is shown in green as it is the content area. Copy the heading and the text the same way. Change the icon in the second cell. Change the heading. We will now show how to change the column width. Just grab and pull the border of the right cell. In the top ribbon, there is also the width option, in which you can select the size of the columns in percents, and also set the widths for the responsive modes. Add padding for the row. Add backgrounds for the cells. Add paddings for the cells. Center the content in the cells. Change spacing between the cells. Now in the ribbon, we will change the width of the row to fluid and back to the wide again. Open Additional Properties clicking the arrow in the right lower corner of the group. We see the cell properties in the right panel. Let's change the top margin. Switch to Margins and Paddings tab. Unlock Margins. Enter the value only for the top margin. Unlock and hide the right panel. Back in the left panel, in the outline, we not only see the control hierarchy, but can also move elements on the page with simple clicking and dragging. Let's switch icons in the columns.
we see that headings are now wrong. We will fix that later. To apply changes made in the editor, click the Apply Theme to CMS icon in the top right corner of the top toolbar. Switch to the Joomla admin. Go to the home page. Please note that the content added in the Themeler editor is converted into the shortcodes. After conversion, visually the content can be edited only in Themeler. In Joomla, the usual text formatting will be no longer seen. Going back to wrong headings under the icons, locate the text in the code. Edit it. Click Save and Close. Switch back to Themeler. Refresh content. We are now proceeding to template settings. The design tab contains the properties that set the style for the whole template. Let's change the colors, choosing different color schemes. Now we will choose a different font scheme. To set the default style that will be used for an element by default, let's do the following. Click More Styles. Let's change the color, the size, and the width of the heading too. This new Heading 2 style will be used throughout the whole website. To quit the default styles, switch to the Home tab. We see that the heading has been changed. To illustrate the use of the shared areas, let's modify header. This can be done in any template of your website, but the effect will be seen on all other pages since the area is shared. We can also hide the shared header for some templates. In this example, we will hide the header for the home page and we'll unhide it again. For the responsive mode, changes are applied to all smaller sizes starting with the modified. For example, if we change the background for the tablet mode, it will also affect the phone view at that the desktop and the laptop modes will not have those changes. For example, if we hide the logo for tablet, for higher modes it will stay unchanged. We will see the same header on the blog template. Go to Joomla Admin. To enable the blog template, you need to have the menu item of the featured articles or the category blog types. Themeler theme supports either Joomla or template blog layout settings. The default Joomla blog layout is used if nothing else is selected for the Themeler blog layout. Now we'll show you how to enable the posts template in Themeler. For that, add a new menu item into the menu. Enter the post title. Select articles. Single article. Select an article. Open the Options tab. Enable metadata, for example, author and date modified, in the Options tab. Page template is also used for the articles. But unlike post template, these articles do not use metadata. Therefore, those are disabled in the article options. Switch to Themeler. Refresh content. Let's change the template choosing any from the gallery. Switching to the post template, we see the same style as it has the same posts control used in the blog. This looks incorrectly. Let's fix this. To customize only the post template, click Customize Template Style. This means that other templates, including the blog, will not be affected. Let's choose a different layout for the post in the ribbon. Much better now, right? For the post images, usually you can see that the lightbox option is enabled by default. This will enlarge images by click. Post content, switch the lightbox off. Proceeding to sidebar. Like the header and the footer, the sidebar is the shared area, meaning it is the same for all templates. 
By default, we see the left sidebar, which is not typical for blocks. So we will disable the left sidebar and will enable the right one. Let's add modules. For that, we need module positions. We have one by default, but we will add one more, for example. Click Apply Theme to CMS. Switch to the CMS Admin. Let's add the vertical menu. Add a new module of the menu type. Type the module title and also specify what menu to use as the source. In the position, search for Right to assign the module to it. Proceed to the Advanced tab and enter the module class suffix. Type space v menu. It is important to use the space before the suffix name. Save this module. Let's add one more. Choose the search module and again type the module title and choose another position from our template that we have previously added into the right sidebar. Save and close. Switch to Themeler. Refresh content. We see that now there are modules in the positions in the sidebar. Let's change the style of our vertical menu. Select the vertical menu module. Change the block header background to make the menu header visible. Choose the preset from the ribbon. Add padding for the block header. Finally, we will change the footer that is also shared and the common for all templates. Select a design from the library. We see that there are the backlinks in the footer that are added by default. Those links may be edited and may be turned off. For that, select Home Settings. In the right panel, scroll down to the backlinks. Turn the switches off. Apply theme to CMS. Switch to the home template. We have finished the introduction to the Themeler's basics and principles. We do hope you liked it. Visit themeler.io for more information. All the best. Bye.